cumulative grief, cumulative trauma. Policing can be death by a thousand cuts. Some of these calls can be very difficult to go to. I remember going to a fatality and it was a young boy about six or eight and um, his father being left of center coming over a crest. Another family head on collision. This was a local boy. And for my part, I had a child the same age at home. It leaves a mark. Yeah, we, you know, we got a job to do, we're professionals and we all come together and did it. But um, I was really impacted by that. I remember after that, I'd be going down the road with my two little boys in the car. One was about two, they would be about five. And if their seat belt was twisted, if their seat, if their um, straps were down, I was so impacted that little boy didn't make it. And I remember struggling with that too because he was in the back seat where he should have been. He had a seat belt on like he should have done. I didn't understand why he died and I was quite affected by it. But I remember being um, hyper vigilant following that and actually pulling over in the 401 to get out of the car to make sure that seat belt was exactly where it needed to be so if we got in an accident, wouldn't have a traumatic outcome. The reality is these things, you're not trying to hang on to them, but they leave a mark. Most human beings spend a lifetime trying to avoid those type of things. We go running in, people are running out and we're human. And um, I didn't realize at the time, I got to the point where I was less hypervigilant. I didn't realize how impacted I was. And later on, I had cause to be part of a study at CAMH in Toronto regarding a physical issue I had with my health. And I got into the study and there was three, three sort of groups to it. One was placebo drug, one was medication. They were trying out, the other one was counseling. And I ended up in the counseling group. And at the time I really wasn't that impressed to be in the counseling group. I kind of wanted a fix for my problem. So I was in counseling, I think for about six or eight weeks. And it turned out that I needed that counseling. I ended up talking about that little boy and the impact on me and the things I was having a hard time processing because like I said, it didn't make sense to me that he had to die because he was where he should have been. He was safe in the back in his seatbelt. So it's a really good thing I had that counseling because even with that, and I've been somebody that stopped along the way to try and get myself help if I felt like I wasn't coping. Even with that, I ended up having a major mental health episode later on in my career. And what a difference that could have made if I was still harboring that. At least I'd had a chance to process that. The reality is we need to look after ourselves we need to take the time, we need to recognize these things, leave, leave a mark. And if they didn't, there's something wrong with that. We're all going to struggle. We do the best we can at the time. But please, later on, when you recognize that it's impacting you, get help, talk to somebody, do something about it, get better.